Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking about the top beginner mistakes for smart doll owners. I made a ton of these mistakes. I've actually made every single one of them, so hopefully with my knowledge you will avoid the same terrible fate. Just kidding, but let's move on. So the number one mistake that I have is moving the smart doll's head using its head. I know that sounds strange, but let's say that I want to tilt Serenity's head downwards. I would not do it by grabbing the head and moving it. Instead, the correct way, the safer way to do it is to move her neck. Um, this wouldn't work if you have a Cortex doll because of the nature of the material. Cortex is a very stiff plastic. But if you have a vinyl bust, then this is the way to do it. You can turn using the head, obviously, but if you're tilting the neck, side to side or front and back, then you have to use the neck, or you can risk actually splitting or widening the hole in the smart doll head. The next thing is pulling on the wig webs when you're adjusting the wig. As you can see, Serenity's wig is lopsided at the moment, and in order to fix this, we don't want to tilt the wig by using the webs. You don't want to pull on the wefts or the hair fibers because this is going to damage the wig and also loosen the hair so it will shed a lot more. What you want to do is grab the wig by the wig cap and ideally support the head at the same time while you're adjusting the wig so that the head isn't moving laterally and thus stretching out or potentially damaging the neck hole. The other common mistake is not pushing the head all the way down onto the body. So I'm just going to unbutton her shirt for a second. I promise this is relevant. But you can tell um, there's basically two ways to tell. So let's just pull her head off real quick. Oh man, it's still hard <laughs> for me to do, even though I'm used to it. You want to hold the neck joint when you're pulling the head off uh, so that you're not impacting the frame the spine. <clears throat> so you can see right here that the body says Mirai on the back. And I'm gonna take off her wig so this is easier to see. But when the head is fully on, make sure that you're pushing the bust down a little bit so that you can see this silicon part exposed. And then push her head down. So when the head is properly secured, you shouldn't be able to see that text on the neck. And a lot of people say, well, my doll's head is really loose, and usually this is the problem. It's not actually pushed down all the way. So now you can tell that her head is quite secure. On the other hand, what happens when you push the head down too much is that the bust will become squished. So I'm not going to put her head down, but I will just push um, the neck part. It'll be easier to show this to you with the head off. So I'm just going to push the neck part of the bust down. And you can see what happens is that the uh, clavicles become more sunken in and it's a deeper V-shape. That means that the head has been pushed down too much. The other mistake is putting the, the hands on the wrong way. So let me just try to capture this correctly. So when you're putting hands on a, when you're taking off hands on a smart doll, you want to grab the ball joint so that you don't risk damaging the peg right here. I'll show you what I mean. So grabbing the ball joint and I just slip the hand off. So there's a very small peg in here, and it's uh, one of the parts that breaks more easily on a smart doll. So you want to make sure that you hold this joint uh, when you're pulling or putting hands on. So let me show you. One side of the wrist peg has a cavity in it. And this side with the cavity is the same side where you'd want the palm of the hand to go. So you just want to make sure that that is facing the right way. The next thing is more like a tip to make things easier for you. So it has to do with the telescoping stand. So as you probably know by this point, your smart doll has a stand hole in her back. What you want to do is not push the stand in all the way. You're only supposed to go in enough so that your doll can stand. Um, if you push it in all the way, it becomes very hard to remove, but every doll is different. Uh, I had a doll where it was basically impossible to remove the stand from this hole, and I almost damaged the doll because I pushed it in way too far, so don't do that. 
Another thing that new smartphone owners struggle with is putting the arms on the wrong way, or rather not knowing which arm is the left arm and which arm is the right arm. But I'll show you a quick way to identify which one is which. So if you look at Serenity's arm right now, you can see that there's a very subtle curvature right here where the shoulder and the arm meets. So if your arms are on correctly, the curvature should be in the front of the body. Thank you so much for watching. I also want to point out that we actually hit 100 subscribers like a few days ago and I'm just over the moon. It just makes me so happy to know that you guys enjoy the videos that I make. But yeah, as usual, uh, I really appreciate your likes, your comments, your subscribes. I want to know what you think. Have you ever made any of these mistakes? What was something that you didn't know? But yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you soon.